Hello there, everybody in the Northeast, and things are starting to warm up. My name is Matt Upton from Roths, and we are coming at you on June 24th, a Tuesday. And looking at the conditions via sea surface temperature and ocean color, this is a sea surface temperature image from the last few days, showing some good overall coverage. And the purples and blues and greens are the cooler water. And then the warmer water is your oranges, yellows, and reds. So we have the Gulf Stream down here now approaching. It's getting really warm now. So the temperatures are starting to um, increase quite rapidly, especially inshore. So we have the Gulf Stream up to 83 degrees, 83 and a half. And let's look at the overall conditions for sea surface temperature. Still in the mid to high 60s over some of the northern canyons, Hudson, Toms, Wilmington, even into Baltimore. But now everything down south is really starting to warm rapidly. Everything inshore is now upper 60s to lower 70s to mid 70s down here off of Virginia and Maryland. And let's look at the main features. Tuna has been pretty decent the last weekend week up or poor man's to Washington down to the Norfolk. But now it's start, the, the water's getting warm now. So there's going to be Mahi, Marlin, Wahoo around real right now and probably increasing in numbers pretty rapidly. There's a nice counterclockwise Gulf Stream eddy off of Norfolk Canyon that's pushing the Gulf Stream back up and in. That makes it accessible for these marlin and billfish now to filter into the canyons. There's a counterclockwise here between Washington and Norfolk, creating some decent chances between the Washington and Norfolk Canyon. Uh, let's see, there is a couple eddies. You can't see them really well, but there's a clockwise eddy off of Baltimore, a counterclockwise eddy off of Poor Man's. This is pushing some warmer water in now uh, around Poor Man's to Washington. Got another clockwise eddy off due east of Baltimore, counterclockwise eddy off of Tom's Canyon. So there's some... Now the Hudson's starting to improve. The Tom's Canyon is starting to improve. You got this cooler water in the middle, but you have the warmer water inshore warming up. Further out east, there's a clockwise eddy between, looks like, West Atlantis and Block Canyon. This is improving some conditions. This water's in the 70s right here, low 70s. Pretty good for tuna, right off, right off shore of the fishtails. Another Smaller clockwise eddy just south of Veach and a counterclockwise eddy off of Atlantis. This is pushing some 70 degree water up and in. Pretty decent for tuna between Atlantis and Veach right now. What we're going to continue to keep an eye on further out east, and this is for the next month, even into August, this large clockwise Gulf Stream warm core ring. This, this water is in upper 70s, 80s, and it's going to slowly start moving this way. So that's what's going to happen. And we'll track that into July. And at this rate, maybe by late July, August is when hydrographer in Atlantis will see this eddy. If it stays intact, but now the tuna should be coming in and filtering up and down the canyons at a pretty regular rate. And the marlin will be in there real soon as well as we're approaching July, believe it or not. There's a couple of eddies down here also to keep an eye on east and northeast of Oregon Inlet. Uh, creating some, this is, Mar I mean, marlin's already in here. Mahi, Wahoo, Marlin are already in this Gulf Stream water, filament water off of Norfolk and, and not too far from Washington Canyon. And there's a there nice inshore edge as well with, with cooler water on the offshore and warmer water on the inshore all the way up and down. This water up here off of Long Island, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, 
in the mid 60s now. So it's time. Let's look at the ocean color conditions over the same time period over the weekend into Monday. You can see the blended blue water now starting to filter in closer to the canyons. These eddies here that we talked about in the SST image, pulling some cleaner water in, that's starting the marlin season. There's good for, good for tuna as well. Again, you're looking for the water mass breaks, not necessarily the, the absolute color or, or temperature. So as we get into July, your ocean color data is going to become more important, especially for marlin. See this Gulf Stream water here pushed up and in off of, off of Norfolk. If you can get down to Washington Canyon, Norfolk, it's pretty decent right now, even poor man's. And out east, you got that same blended blue, bluer water inshore. Not quite to the 100 fathoms, looks like 300, 400 fathoms off of fishtails. Yep, maybe into the 100 fathoms right off of uh, East Atlantis. Looks pretty decent. And you can see this eddy way out east. Bluer signature. This is clouds up here. The Gulf Stream remains a little bit lower than normal for that we've seen the last couple of years at this time. But it is starting to push up. And that's a good sign to filter in some of this more pelagic fish into the, into the zone, the strike zone here the, over the bank. All right, so that's the deal. We got some tuna tournaments up north kicking in. Uh, everyone off of Long Island should be starting to fish now. So let's um, stay tuned to Ross. Safe fishing. Hope we get some good weather. And we're almost in July, believe it or not. A slow start, but it's going to be kicking in gear here real quick. All right, over and out.